the Tesla solar power system. It's not just about solar panels anymore. The Tesla solar power system in 2024 puts battery storage at the forefront while dramatically lowering cost and complexity for the installer. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Tesla solar power system. And there's a lot of conversation going on on the internet right now about why the Tesla solar system based around the new Tesla Powerwall 3 battery is the most advanced and best solar architecture available today. So let's talk about the battery first and what makes the battery so unique. First of all, it's unique that storage is now part of the solar equation by default. You know, when I got started in solar about 10 years ago, it was less than 10% of solar systems included battery storage and typically it was only for emergency backup purposes. But now, because of what a number of utilities are doing in moving away from true one-for-one -one net metering programs, it's more profitable now for homeowners to install their own battery storage. That way they can power their home directly during daylight hours off of the solar panels, they can charge all of their excess solar electricity in a battery, and then they can run the home or run a large portion of the home off of stored energy in the battery during evening hours. That way they can make limited use or in some cases no use of a solar buyback program from the utility company. So when you add battery storage to your solar system, that's when you can really get that, that true energy independence where you can run independent of the power company day or night and basically do things on your terms. Now, the Powerwall 3 introduces an innovative design where the solar inverter and the battery storage is integrated into a single appliance. Now before, if you had a grid-tied solar power system, in other words, a system that could take advantage of a solar buyback with the utility, you would have an inverter or micro-inverters for the solar panels, and then if you added battery storage, you would have a separate battery inverter, or in many cases, the inverter was built inside the battery, like the Tesla Powerwall 2, for example, had a battery integrated inverter. But the Tesla Powerwall 2's inverter was only made accessible to the battery itself, to the battery cells. It wasn't made accessible to the direct solar input. And that's what's changed with Powerwall 3, is now you can take direct DC high voltage output from the solar array and connect it and couple it to the battery. Now, there's a number of advantages to that architecture. Number one is it's just more efficient. Whenever you can keep the electricity in native DC format, for example, direct current coming off of solar panels to use to charge direct current battery cells, that's gonna be a much more efficient DC to DC battery charging than if the power has to flow through an inverter before it hits the battery. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen our previous video on most efficient solar batteries, we talk about the concept of conversion losses when electricity is converted from direct current to alternating current and then back to direct current to charge AC coupled batteries. So if you haven't seen that previous video, go back and watch that previous video where we talk about this issue in more detail. Now, the other advantage with the integrated inverter battery design is it lowers cost and it lowers the, the risk of installation error. In other words, there, there are less component interconnections for the installer to have to make, and then you're running conduits between the different components and you have to hook up individual wires and conductors. You know, every connection point is a potential point of failure or it's a potential where the installer could make a mistake. So by factory integrating the inverter and the battery, it cleans up a lot of that, lowers the risk. Uh, of course, it also lowers the install time which translates into more profitable installations. Now, and by the way, that's the feedback that we're receiving from the solar installers that we've talked to that are offering Tesla Powerwall 3, is that now they finally have a profitable solar with battery storage installation, where frankly, much of the industry was struggling with some of the first and second generation batteries to be able to do those installations as profitably as they had been able to do solar panels only in the past. Now, the next big innovation with the new Tesla solar power system is the, the Tesla backup switch or the, the Tesla meter adapter. And what Tesla's done with their backup switch is essentially they've, they've built a, a whole home transfer switch into a meter collar where it basically just fits in back of and around your electric meter, allowing for whole home backup without the installer having to do really any modification of the home's internal wiring. Again, that was another issue that plagued installers is that they got some of their most skilled technicians bogged down in rewiring circuits or moving circuits around within the house doing these solar and battery installs. 
where now Tesla has it to where all you do is pop the meter collar on outside, that has a communication to the Powerwall 3 battery to tell it whether to work in grid interactive mode or in backup mode only, and allows the home to be disconnected from the power grid when the Powerwall 3 is operating in backup mode. Um, it also makes for a much leaner, cleaner installation. Uh, since that meter socket adapter fits right onto your electric meter base where it is now, that's one less extra piece of equipment that you have to have installed on the wall, whereas traditionally you would have to have a transfer switch or a gateway, which was another box that would have to be mounted here and then conduits run back and forth. So what Tesla's done with the Powerwall 3 design, they've lowered cost, they've lowered complexity, and, and they've made it for an aesthetically much nicer looking solar and storage installation as well. Oh, by the way, uh, if you have a Tesla solar system or if you have a Tesla electric vehicle and you're planning on adding a solar system, go ahead and leave a comment down below. We'd like to hear from you. Now that leads me into the next point, which is that one of the trends we've been seeing in the industry in the last 18 months or so is this convergence of everything onto a single platform or onto a single ecosystem. Now, what I mean by that is, in the past, it was pretty common to mix and match components from different manufacturers. You might have solar panels from one company, you might have a battery from a different company, you might have an inverter or microinverters from a third company, and, and then the installer's job was to put all that together and to build an integrated system. But what we've seen is that approach, although it might seem good on paper to be able to use best of breed products in each area, it led to an inconsistency of user experience. You might have one app to track your solar production, you may have a separate app to manage the battery, and yet a separate app to manage the EV charging. And we'll talk about that in a moment because that's another trend here when we talk about convergence onto a single platform. It's not just the solar, the inverter, the battery storage, but now with modern home solar systems, we're seeing the electric vehicle charger become part of that integrated system. And for other providers, we're seeing intelligent load control and generator support as well, all on a single platform, all controlled by a single app. Uh, and that would be a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Solar Insure. If you're considering installing a solar and battery storage system for your home, then there's no better way to protect your investment than Solar Insure. Solar Insure is the leading solar warranty provider that gives you total system protection for 30 years. The program covers all major system components, including solar panels, racking, inverters, and optimizers. Roof penetrations are also guaranteed for 30 years. And the warranty includes labor, so you're covered even if the contractor who does your initial installation goes out of business. So if you're serious about protecting your solar and storage investment, then tell your contractor you want Solar Insure or go directly to the Solar Insure website so you can learn more about the program. Thank you, Solar Insure, for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Now, I also should mention that the, the Tesla solar system, including the Powerwall 3 battery, uh, are on the Solar Insure approved vendor list. So if you're looking to get maximum protection for your solar and storage system up to 30 years on the solar components, you're all set to use Tesla equipment with Solar Insure. Now, there are a few things missing from the Tesla architecture now, which I'd like to highlight in this video. The first is intelligent load control. And I've talked about this on a number of previous videos, but one of the components that I believe makes up a successful whole home solar and battery storage implementation is some form of intelligent load control. And that means being able to, to programmatically control which appliances have access to power during which conditions or during which times of the day. Now, for example, let's say if utility service goes down, you're running the home off of solar and battery power only, maybe the battery's starting to drain down faster than you'd like. At this point, you may wanna disconnect power to certain high draw but low priority items. Uh, for example, electric clothes dryer or electric oven. You may not necessarily need to run that during an emergency backup situation, or at the very least, perhaps you can wait until the next day to when the sun's back out and the solar panels are producing, so you can power those appliances using solar power as opposed to having to draw from stored energy inside the battery. Now, the other application for intelligent load control is to avoid peak time of use rates. Now, for those of you watching in California and Arizona, you understand that during certain hours of the day, the utility charges you a much higher rate per kilowatt hour than at other parts of the day. And typically this is gonna be in the late afternoon, early evening, when people are getting home from work, 
the air conditioner is working hardest because it's the hottest part of the day. Maybe they're starting to turn on their electric ovens and cook dinner. Well, those are peak rate hours where if you can draw that energy from the battery, as opposed to pulling it from the utility, it can help save you a lot on your electric bill. Now, of course, another thing that's missing is module level monitoring, right? Now, we've gone away from module level power electronics with the new Powerwall 3 architecture. In other words, we don't have optimizers or microinverters on each solar panel, so we can no longer track each individual solar panel on the app. Now, the system can be configured in multiple different strings, each with its own MPPT. So I'm not saying that there's gonna be a tremendous performance hit here, but you are gonna lose the ability to pull up on the app and track individual solar panel performance. And then finally, I would like to see Tesla incorporate some sort of generator support. You know, for those of you who are looking at solar and battery storage to protect you from a true worst case scenario grid down situation, I think having a fuel burning generator as a backup to your battery just makes sense. That way, if the grid's down and maybe you hit a patch of inclement weather where the solar panels just aren't producing that much, well, at least you have the option to fire up a fuel burning generator, run that generator full for a few hours, bring your batteries back full, and then you can go back to running off of just your solar and battery system. So this has been a walkthrough of the Tesla solar power system in 2024. As always, if you're getting good value from these videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Uh, of course, if you're a homeowner out there, if you're looking at different solar and battery storage options for your home, if you need to get a quote for the Tesla Powerwall 3 system or, or any of the other leading solar systems, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, set up a call with a solar expert, uh, or just use the free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and batteries cost in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.